Aquarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope you're all doing well. A uh, couple things here before we start the reading. This will be messages from spirit and your angels. Uh, Want to say also too, it's not just about love, can be about any area in your life. And also everything you need to know is in the description box, okay? I'll just point out that you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. That info is below along with my playlists uh, and everything else. So with that, let's get started with your reading. I also want to say thank you for uh, your likes, your shares, uh, helping me grow my channel. I appreciate you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it lets me know whether to do more of these readings or not. Okay, so far I've been getting uh, really good feedback, uh, but everybody uh, has different opinions, okay? So with that, uh, Aquarius, uh, we're getting started here. I pulled the center of your energy, okay? We're going to pull the energy around you. Uh, so if you haven't watched this reading before, there's one, two, three, and four. And we're going to pull three cards here from the Angel Answer deck. Okay, you can ask a question. It does have yes and no in it. If yes or no doesn't come out, it just means that uh, there's other guidance here that your angels want you to know. So... Uh, think of a question if you want to ask a question. If not, you'll just take the guidance here. Let's pull three cards. Three cards here for Aquarius. There we go. And uh, our final card here is a postcard from Spirit. This is a message from Spirit and your ancestors. It's very detailed um, and very insightful. A lot of good feedback here. So I recommend you uh, listening to this message at the end. Um, and we'll see what it is for you, okay? So with that, let's get started. We're going to start here with um, your Goddess Guidance cards, okay? So uh, your first card here is Receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, your energy, and ability to give to others, all right? So... It's an energy here of definitely uh, finding balance, right, when it comes to giving and receiving, right? So uh, if you tend to be a giver here, this is telling you you need to receive more, right? Be open to letting people help you, uh, maybe compliment you, a lot of different things here, right? Everything needs to be in balance, okay? Especially, too, with giving and receiving, right? You deserve to receive. You also have here, um, this is, uh, that was the goddess of Hathor. This is the goddess of Green Terra. Start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. So another confirmation here, right? Uh, it's your time to receive or to receive some help from people. Okay, you may be taking on too much. And then you also have here uh, the goddess of Ain, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. So there may be something here that uh, you need to take that leap of faith, right? There may be something here that you need, you're need, you wanting to try or something that you want to do, but you may be uh, a bit hesitant or there may be some sort of risk here, okay? And maybe it's around delegating and receiving, right? And so they're saying try it. Okay, so let's see what the center of your energy is and the energy around you. Gosh, another another message here of receiving, okay? Um, okay, yeah. So uh, I feel like this is about you, Aquarius, um, getting ready to receive, okay? Uh, there's something very nice coming in for you. The center of your energy here, you have the six of Gabrielle. It says, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. Awards, scholarships, or promotion. Okay, so this very much uh, means here that you could be definitely receiving some sort of recognition, right? Or even a promotion. That may be what you're needing to take a leap of faith. Right, or time to move on to the next project here. So there's something 
I feel here uh, that's coming to completion here, but there's a lot of reward and success with it for you. So it's a really, really nice energy. And I'm going to say here that you have uh, the Six of Pentacles. So I feel, again, you're going to be receiving something, okay? Very nice here. Uh, like I said, it could be a compliment. I said compliment. Maybe someone's telling you your boss or somebody else. Maybe you did some, uh, some sort of project, but somebody here is going to compliment you, acknowledge you, um, or I feel here this is actually some sort of a award or promotion or like it says a scholarship. So definitely feel there's an energy here of you receiving, okay? It's a very victorious, successful energy. Now you have the Knight of Swords, okay? So it shows me here in the past that maybe you have been worried um, or this has been on your mind or maybe you've been working so hard you can't sleep at night, right? But this is usually somebody who's doing a lot of thinking, Okay, so there may be something around this. Maybe this is something you've been thinking about for quite some time, maybe, maybe even worried. Maybe you thought maybe you wouldn't get the promotion or wouldn't get um, the job done or the project, whatever it is for you. But it's telling you whatever this worry was here in the past, it's coming to an end here with the Ten of Wands. Okay, so once, it, once that congratulations comes in, once that promotion award recognition right whatever it is for you you know completing something that takes you to the next level it could be school right those burdens here are being released okay the worry the challenge it's going by the wayside here and look at the the top of your spread here is it's beautiful energy you have the wheel of fortune okay beautiful beautiful energy here this is luck on your side, right? This is things going in your favor, blessings coming to you. I feel it's also an end of a difficult cycle. So whatever uh, this worry was, right? It could be stress, could be anxiety, whatever it is for you, that that energy is going away, right? There's a devil here, right? So that, that negative energy or negative thinking or stress or worry, right? The wheels turn in here in your favor, and uh, that burden is being released so very very nice energy aquarius okay so here we go okay your first card here is look for a sign so some of you may be needing to take some sort of risk or make some sort of decision taking that leap of faith I feel here your angels are telling you they're going to give you some sort of sign, okay? You may have already seen some signs. Uh, signs can come in all forms. You know, they can come in, you know, the form of animals, you know, butterflies, feathers, uh, change, right? They can come in metaphors. They can come in your dreams. Your angels are going to send you some sort of uh, sign here to help you okay uh, uh, with taking that risk or taking that leap of faith okay and then look what you have here peaceful resolution this is things coming together right this is that burden being released here and you feeling good in your heart right see that that white uh, pure energy there and the rainbow here telling you that you're going to be happy with this outcome okay whatever it is for you, and look at that, look at that opportunity, right, abundance uh, raining on you, okay, <laughs> with that six of Gabrielle, and that's that congratulations, a wonderful job, okay, a project completed, taking you to the next level, right, uh, could be money, okay, could be money, could uh, be uh, I'm just going to say in love, it could be somebody new coming in your life who's paying a lot of attention to you. You could have been dealing with somebody here who you've been struggling with in the past. Uh, and now's the time to take that risk, that leap of faith towards something new. Somebody who is recognizing you, somebody who is giving towards you, right? And, and maybe that's to why you're having a hard time receiving, right? Because you didn't know what it was like to receive. But like I said, for a lot of you, I feel this is around career, uh, school, uh, or some sort of project that you've been working on. And it feels really nice here. There's some sort of opportunity coming your way, bringing a lot of abundance with it. So with that, Aquarius, really nice reading for you. I'm going to read your uh, postcard from Spirit. This is from your ancestors and 
spirit, dearest Aquarius, we're a chatty bunch over here, always talking about how to support you in your life's journey. We communicate to you through the language, oh, we were just talking about this, oracles, dreams, signs, metaphors, and omens. If your life on earth, however, I'm sorry, if your life on earth, however, clarity in your communication is essential to being understood. You don't speak in symbols, and if you did, you would definitely confuse things. Right now, you're facing a situation in which you're being asked to have integrity, be clear, and learn how to ask for your needs to be met. Yes, start delegating. That was one of your messages here. The first step is to admit out loud that you have needs, right? Being able to receive. The second is to ask out loud for them to be met. And the third is to allow the other person, organization, or even us to answer you. When you follow these steps, you can most definitely expect an answer in your favor. Affirmative, we say, loving you so very much. So very beautiful message there for, for you, Aquarius. Very on point with your reading. I hope this reading helped you, Aquarius. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.